I got the privilege, I've got the platform, I've got the influence, and even I can't fix this. On a new podcast, Prince Harry just got real about his mental health, about how he wanted to leave the royal life behind before he met Meghan Markle, and how Meghan helped him start therapy when he needed it. Let's get into it. It's no secret that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle weren't happy with their lives as working senior members of the royal family. And after Meghan Markle's bombshell sit-down interview with Oprah, Prince Harry joined them for the last part of their chat. Now, Harry is making more time to dive into his own issues he had with royal life on Dax Shepard's Armchair Expert podcast. Harry looked back on his childhood and recalled specific incidents when he felt helpless, like when he was chased down by paparazzi with his mom, the late Princess Diana. He knew from a young age that this life wasn't for him. I've always felt different. He said that these moments piled up and by his early 20s, he didn't want the job as a royal anymore and completely resented it after what happened to his mom. Harry revealed that long before he met Meghan, he was confident that what happened to his mom could easily happen again and he felt a desire to leave. The biggest issue for me was that being born into it, you inherit the risk. You inherit the risk that comes with it. You inherit every element of it without choice. Mm -hmm. And because of the way that the UK media are, they feel an ownership over you. At one point during the interview, Harry even said that the fishbowl that he lived in since birth was, quote, a mix between the Truman Show and being in a zoo. And eventually, after meeting Meghan, Harry said that he finally got help and went to therapy for many of these issues and for the trauma he experienced in losing his mom. She could tell that I was hurting and that some of the stuff that was out of my control was making me really angry. And going to therapy made a massive change in Harry's life. And then once I started doing therapy, suddenly it was like the bubble was burst. Yeah. I plucked my head out of the sand, gave a good shake off. He continued on saying that in addition to therapy, living in California and taking a step back from royal life has helped him and Meghan in more ways than they can count. Living here now, I can actually like lift my head and actually, f I feel different. My shoulders have dropped, so is hers. I can't and imagine. And you can walk around feeling a little bit more free. I would never have the chance to do that. Though stepping back from their senior royal roles hasn't stopped paparazzi from continuing to harass them and their family. Harry said when they were staying at Tyler Perry's house, paparazzi would break in and try to hop the gate. And recently, they even had an incident where their son Archie's privacy was breached by paparazzi on his first day of school. We spoke to royal expert Kinsey Schofield about Harry Harry's interview and she weighed in on this interview and what Harry had to say. Kinsey looked back on the time Harry discussed in his early 20s when he showed signs of resentment to the royal life. Yeah, so in his 20s, we actually saw Prince Harry struggle with fame and, and almost resent it. For instance, in 2004, he got into a physical altercation with a photographer outside of a London nightclub. He struggled, he made mistakes, but unfortunately for him, it was on this, you know, worldwide platform, this stage. And she also added Harry was hurting and this is how he coped. Kinsey said that much of the scrutiny that Harry has been under throughout his entire life, which he was born in, into took a massive toll on his mental health. Over the years, this royal rebel myth, Prince Harry the bad boy, it's been dissected and analyzed by experts who really attribute some of his behavior to grief and pressure. And through the revelations on this podcast, Prince Harry confirmed some of those, you know, initial thoughts and feelings. And we're just glad that Harry took the steps he needed and sought out help through therapy. It's an important message for all of us. So if you or someone you know needs mental health resources, we've linked some down in the description box below for you. And if you want more on Prince Harry, click right over here for another clever video. Then be sure to let me know your thoughts on everything Prince Harry shared in this interview in the comment section below. I'm your host, Susan Morad. You can find me on TikTok at Susan underscore Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.